Hello sillies and welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt. Ashley. Ashley. And today we are checking out a uh, one of our sillies over at the Sillyverse. They requested that we check out Aries Spears Mike Tyson impersonation <laughs> and spirituals. <laughs> Let's just look at that. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard of him. Of of Aries Spears? No. I've I've seen a little never bit. Never seen. And I know he's hilarious. He uh, he kind of reminds me of Patrice. Oh. God rest his soul. Mm. You know, uh, but but I Aries, he, he's hilarious. So so he's funny too. Yeah, this All is right. this is from Jay in 1992 over at uh, our Patreon page. Link in the description below. Join us over there for more funny stuff like full episodes of Martin, uh, Chappelle show, drawn together. So much stuff. So much stuff. It's funny. I just got back from off the road. Comments, we don't really do much when we're on the road, except stay in the hotel room and watch TV. And I'm flipping through some of the stations and I'm watching these programs like Povich and Springer. And I'm noticing white people, some of y'all's kids is out of control. <laughs> I just wanna ask y'all, why don't y'all beat y'all kids? Y'all give y'all kids all kind of timeouts and special places. What the hell is a special place? A special well, a black place. child, that's a coma. What is that? That's a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be thinking that like at the, when we're at the mall. Yeah, there's there's some parents just letting their kids go nuts. I know, and it's you know, <sighs> and we we have a, a kid that that can go nuts if he wants, but we in still keep him in line. Yeah, I mean he's um, obviously yeah. we don't. This is great though. Okay, black kids don't know nothing about timeout. We know about getting knocked out. That's it. <laughs> My mother used to slap so we, out of me yes. in public, and I would look at people for help. <laughs> like, shut up! <sighs> White people felt my pain. Oh my god! <laughs> black people see black kids get hit. They like, hey, hey get your <laughs> together. <laughs> black people will beat other people's kids if they messing up too bad. Like, miss, you need to whoop this ugly man. Put that down. Here's my website, email, home address. Call me. I'll kick his ass anytime you need. <laughs> you ain't got to kill him. Just watch him turn red. Just watch him. <laughs> watch him be <laughs> hurt. You know what I found out growing up? It shocked me. White kids are just as shocked to find out black kids don't talk back to their parents as we are when we hear them talk back to theirs. Because I used to have a little buddy would come over to my house on the Shoot. weekends, a little Nate. Shoot. I think our generation. We would get our ass whooped if we talked back. Oh, I, I got, okay, so I got, uh, my mom was real big on um, washing my mouth out with soap, and she ran out, like, didn't have a bar of soap to shove in my mouth, so she uh, kind of just knocked my head back and started squirting liquid dial in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. I mean. And my sister nowadays, watched it happen. Would, I mean, nowadays, we would probably go. Oh, yeah, to yeah, jail or children's something? services would be at your door in a right second. Right in the door. All right, let's see what he, let's see what else he's got. All right. House on the weekends, little Nate. We'd be in my room playing video games. My mother used to come in the room on us and cuss me out for no reason. Just scare the hell out of both of us. We'd be in the room playing Mario Brothers. She'd come kick open the door like SWAT. SWAT. <laughs> we on SWAT. level four. She just, whoosh. Every how many times that I told you to clean this room? Cut that damn game off and clean this room. I come back, this room ain't clean. I'm going to take that Nintendo cord, wrap it around your neck, and stick it in your ass. Boy, I ain't playing with you. This ain't no threat. This a problem. Try me, boy. Try me. <laughs> Try me. <laughs> Try me. My white friend would turn to me offended like, dude, what the hell? She can't do that, man. This is your space. This is your area. <laughs> She's violating your right to privacy. You should say something. You want me to go say something? I'd be so scared. I start talking to him like a slave from Roots. Like, you's gonna get me in troubles. <laughs> I like you, Nate. I really do. But my parents is good black folk. They gives me food. They gives me sleeps. <laughs> now you can quit from around here with that foolishness. Get from here. Get from here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, long, long. <laughs> Look, some of the black people chime in. Let my people go. I'm going to smack the white boy. He turned into me. Wait in the water. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's foreign to a lot of the white people. You're like, really? <laughs> really? Speaking of physical abuse. Before I go, I got to talk about an interesting experience I had with one of my favorite athletes, Mike Tyson. 
Mm. I know a lot of people don't like Mike, but I like Mike. I'm with Mike to the end, which is now, but I'm with him. <laughs> <laughs> I actually met Mike, man. It was really crazy because I'm such a big fan of his. I did this show called The Best Damn Sports Show. I'm so excited for Mike Tyson to whip Jake Paul's ass just to bury him on Netflix. Aren't you excited? I didn't even know that that was happening. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's on Netflix? It's going to be on Netflix. Really? Yeah. It's going to be Netflix? Amazing. Come on, guys. Hey, what? It's better than paying a ton of money for, you know, whatever. What, like, pay per view or something? Tyson's going to wreck the kid. Okay. Right. And I'm sitting on a panel, and it's me, Tyson, Tom Arnold, and John Sally. Tom, and Tom Arnold. Arnold puts me on the spot and turns to Mike and says, Mike, Aries does a good impression of you. Aries, do it. <gasps> you can smell the feces already, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> and usually when I do impressions in front of actual celebrities, they all say the same thing. Oh my God, that was very nice. I'm flattered. Thank you. But with Mike, it was weird because I did the impression and I was like, you know, I love boxing and everything that it's done for me. But sometimes they get very frustrated with the media, which is why I get very tyrannical with you. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike was kind of laughing, but he wasn't. But and he, he had like this snarl on his face. And after about six seconds, he finally said, you know, if you did that two or three years ago, how to chase you down the street and punch in the spleens. <laughs> but based on where I'm in my life right now, I'm very flattered, thank you. And after he said it, love was cool, but I can't lie, I peed a little bit. <laughs> it wasn't like a big stain, just boop, just a drop. But I didn't want to get <laughs> on TV. <laughs> Listen, y'all have been fun, thank you. Funny. Yes, he's hilarious. His, his we might have to check him out more. Yeah. Ab- if you have any suggestions on him, let us know. Yeah, keep the suggestions coming. Thank you so much for for you know recommending that uh, from J1992 over at the Sillyverse. Link in the description for more. Like I said, more full length reactions that can't be here, uh, you know, for reasons. But we have a great time, and we hope to see you guys over there. Love you, and we will see you in the next one. Until then, well goodbye. Bye.